Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have October 2016 favorites. Um, this month flew just like the rest of them. Mom always said, the older you get, the faster time flies. Never believed her when I was in school and I've said that before, but I totally believe what she says now. So I have lots of different kinds of favorites. Um, I'll start off with one, I'll start off with the candle favorites. But the first one I wanna show you was a total favorite and even when I was uh, reviewing it, it was fantastic. And then everything went really wrong towards the end. Um, and that was Yankee Candles Autumn Wreath. So it did continue to soot even though I was keeping track of it, uh, keeping an eye on it. And I had to stop burning it. It just started stinking like bad candle and the rotten apple. Whereas when this was probably from here up, fabulous and forever will remind me of being home for Thanksgiving with my family. So it's a bittersweet, uh, empty, sort of a favorite and sort of a not. Another favorite, a favorite of mine is DW Holmes Vanilla Bean. I only just posted this review not long ago and I've really, really enjoyed this one. It was such a nice creamy vanilla. It just, it, there's not a lot of bakery in it. And from what I'm hearing from what people were saying is the birthday cake one definitely had the cake note, which I understand. This one to me is like real nice creamy vanilla whipping cream kind of thing. So that's what I like. And lastly, I understand why this is a favorite in so many people's homes. Radiant Red Maple. Now you see I didn't burn it all the way down. It had some burn issues. Um, the wicks were drowning so I ended up putting it on my melter. And fantastic. I understand the hype. 100%. Okay, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, next favorite, I went to Chapters Indigo, which is a book bookstore, lifestyle store, that kind of thing, a while ago. And I forgot to mention this, this is my last month's favorites, but these are like awesome huge socks they're they're like they're not slippers they are truly socks and i just love them i wear the i wear tights at home like um yoga pants put these on oh my gosh and your legs are nice and cozy and warm they actually sell them call they call these reading socks so i guess you're supposed to get into your comfies and read with this but anyway um that that is another favorite um and a favorite again this month but the reason why i've also brought it out Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. I uh, did receive this as a gift. I wanted to bring this out again. It's still a favorite of mine, of course, but I found something that's really similar. And I'm sorry it's not something that you can find uh, readily available now. I'm hoping maybe we'll see some during SAS. But I've been using the combination of the shower gel, the scrub, and the body, like Ultra Shea body lotion in Wrapped in Comfort from Bath and Body Works. These two are actually really similar. So what a great pairing. I'm really enjoying it. And funny enough, I find that this this definitely smells different than the um, the cream. Uh, so, but this one is very much close to the, my Nirvana bourbon. So really like that. In my baths, I've been having a lot of baths. So you'll see in my, uh, my empties video, my non-wax empties video, I'll have gone through a lot of bath bombs and all that stuff. But I've been adding uh, Lord of Misrule shower cream. It's kind of a bubble bath in my bath with a bath bomb of Lord of Misrule. Uh, this is back again. It, they always, well, I shouldn't say always. They brought it out again this year for Halloween, but it always sticks around until Christmas. So, and you'll, you'll see it in all those gift boxes that Lush has online. You can take a look. A lot of them have like a shower, like a 100 mil shower gel. It's a shower cream, I should say. Um, what does it say? Mischievous herbal blend of spicy black pepper and patchouli oil, oils. I'm not normally a patchouli person, but this is really good with my bath bomb in the same name. And with those slippers, I love my pink peppermint foot lotion. I always have a shower, scrub my feet using some sort of scrub, and then I get out of the shower and then I put foot lotion on and then at night, like at nighttime just before bed, I'll put my slipper socks on or slocks I like to call them and then moisturize and lock it in and cause you're on your feet all the time and I really do believe you gotta treat your feet well. So I really like this. Um, okay, some skincare. Very expensive, most expensive skincare I think I've ever purchased. But there's a reason why I'm, I'm getting older in case anyone was wondering, we all are. And my skin changes and it's more finicky and with the weather about to change here, I, uh, we're going to probably get cooler 
our version of cooler shortly i tend to get, i'm oily but i get to really dry right around here and i start flaking and it's peeling and it's gross so you need to put more um oils onto my face in the winter and i really i'm so happy i bought the sunday Raleigh's luna oil the Sephora VIB sale is coming up and I really want the good jeans to go with this 20% off because I'm a rouge, so I kind of hope I get that. Okay, so what's on my nails? I didn't wear a lot of nail polish this year, or this year, this month. Uh, just been too busy and I'm just afraid of things chipping. Like it'll, It is already chipping and I will probably replace this color with a different one after I do a bunch of videos. But I picked up this OPI na nail lacquer in Squeaker of the House which is from the Kerry Washington collection. It's just a nice grungy brown and I love it. The whole line is really good. Um, let's see, well what's on my lips? Let's go there. I didn't say that at the beginning, but it's because I've got Primrose. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think it was Candy who told, I can't remember if it was Candy or Christine, but someone looked it up. Oh, I think it was Candy. She looked it up. This is Primrose, it's a Marc Jacobs lip liner than I have right now on my lips as well with it. Role play lipstick. These, and then there's this one here on the side. All three of these came together. This is screen test. So screen test, role play, primrose, all came into a set together and it was just the best set. And I know Candy, I know you've mentioned that you saw the video and really loved it. And you guys, you went out and bought the set too. And I really hope you're enjoying it. It did sound like you were enjoying it last I spoke with you. So um, highly recommend this. The formula is amazing and I wish I didn't love it so much because they're expensive and I say that every time and oh look at there this is part of my birthday gift I got this in a, a black liner for my birthday gift from Sephora it's a Marc Jacobs lipstick again it's kiss kiss bang bang not what I'm wearing on my lips right now all right not too many items left mascara combination if I'm not wearing waterproof mascara I have been wearing the Benefits, they're real. This is just a sample size that I have and love that. I put that on first and it really lengthens my lashes, but you have to be very careful with these ones are like so painful. <laughs> you stab yourself like I do. <laughs> and then on top, I give it some volume with Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express. Both of these are very black in color and I love this. I just think though it dries, this one here dries up really quickly because I feel it that the seal in here, like you know how when you pull out a mascara, there's, there's normally a little give when you pull it up because it's taking some of the product off. I feel that though, this is gonna sound wrong, the hole is a little bit bigger in this one, therefore this little wand dries out faster than most of my other mascaras. This is the combination that I would most certain certainly purchase again. Blush combination that I've really enjoyed and it's what I'm wearing on my face today, um, which is the Balm's Cabana Boy. And I love this color for fall and winter. It's gorgeous. It's hard to see because I've got like natural light out there. But I'm taught, but that's how I put most of the color back here and a little bit forward. And then here on the apples of my cheek, I've got Cargo's Bally. So Cargo and Bally. So it's got more of a sheen to it. That's been my combo that I've been going to quite a bit. And the highlight I have on today is from Makeup Revolution, which again, that's that brand that I really love. And this is the highlighter in Radiant Lights. It's really hard to, see. there you go. Yeah, it's fantastic, I really enjoy it. And then lastly, is what's on my eyes. I've been wearing this palette, oh my gosh, since I got it. So the when I got back from my trip, whew, Salvation Palette, Makeup Revolution, and Run Boy Run. It's the uh, Revolution, Makeup Revolution London. The name of the palette is Run Boy Run. Oh, you guys. Okay, I got rid of the brush because it's got a really decent mirror. Like the size of mirror in here is huge. But look at all of this. This is kind of, I don't have names of colors or anything like that. The, the pigments are amazing. They're, they're pigmented. All of these ones in circles are matte. All of these ones are in shimmers. Shimmers or sheen, or sorry, like a pressed pigment or a sheen. Um, what I've got on my eyes right now is this gold color and then there's my crease and I mean it's just I've been playing around with this so much very impressed um, I bought another palette along with this from the same company it was like their their dupe of Urban Decay's uh, or what is it the uh, naked palettes 
one, two, and three. I bought the one version of Makeup Revolutions version of it. I like it, but I really like this. The diversity of this is amazing. So you guys, that's my favorites for October 2016. And thank you guys very much for joining me. And if you haven't already, um, if you want to join me on Instagram, it's Canada Kim 1978 Canada spelled with a K. And you guys, as always, have an awesome day. Take care, be safe, and have fun.